And walking across this very campus just now, walking across this campus just now, I walk by two students and I listen to y'all, sorry. I'm sorry, I listen in. I listen to all the shit you say. And I walk by these two students and one student says, yeah, fucking foreign languages shit. Man, I can't fucking believe that shit. And I'm like, this guy just used the F word more than me. <laughs> and it was nothing. And so one night we're sitting at dinner at my house. Try and picture it. My oldest was probably 14. My second son was probably 12. My third son was probably nine or 10. My daughter was probably seven and the other daughter was probably two. Now picture this, we're sitting around dinner at my house. My wife is sitting about where you all are in this row right here, right about where you are, across from me. Now remember, every night at my house was like Thanksgiving. There's a lot of people there. And so we're sitting there, and I'm a typical dad, and I say to my kids, how was school today? And mostly what kids say when you ask them how was school today, like your parents said to you, is they give this monosyllabic answer. Fine, good, what you learn, nothing. <laughs> what you do, nothing. Anything happened at school today? Nope. Well, this is gonna be a great dinner. And this one night, my one son says, the, the, the second or third grader, he says, we had so much fun at school today. And I'm the dad, and I'm like, yes. I'm like, what happened? He says, you won't believe it, Dad. Oh my God, we were passing notes around today, and we put a note, Mr. Aini, the principal at Johnson Elementary School, we put the note inside his mailbox, and the note said that Mr. Aini had to use Viagra. <laughs> and at this time, now, this, this kid's like 26 now, so we're talking, you know, we're talking 15 years ago, a long time ago. And he says, we put notes in, and it was hysterical, Dad, oh my God, oh, everybody was laughing, and the two older boys are sitting there saying, no, oh my God, do you really know shit, Andrew? Oh my God, you put notes that asked to use Viagra? Now, Viagra had just come out, and you all know what Viagra is. It's a boner pill. <laughs> and since Viagra came out, you have watched commercials like with Bob, who hits the ball like this, and he's holding, his, he's holding his golf club, okay? Now this is not an accident. It's a big, long shaft. <laughs> he's holding it up like this, and his wife's standing by him in this commercial, and she goes, because she's happy Bob has a big, long shaft. This is your generation that has allowed this shit to happen. And my kid is screaming, yeah, we were laughing so hard. Everybody was laughing, Dad. The teachers were laughing. It was such a fun day at school. I said, that is awesome. And my wife is sitting there across, the mother of these kids, and she's good. Good like you can't believe good. Good like she teaches preschool for a living, and I'd rather poke my eye out with a dull object. Good in that she sees little kids, gets them, and likes them likes them, like chooses to be around little kids all day long. Now some of you would like that, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know how your brain works that you would actually like that. And she's looking and she's going, oh, geez, great, Mark loves this shit, and I do. But my son then says, he's second or third grade, he says, but dad, there's only one problem. I said, what's the problem? Sounds like you had fun at school. Good for you, son. Hopefully you learned something. He said, well, the problem is, I don't know what is Viagra. <laughs> now, I am thinking, if a child asks a parent a question, the child is old enough to be able to get the answer. Now, this is terrible advice I'm giving you right now. <laughs> terrible. Do not take that as something you should do. And in matters of parenting, sexist as it sounds, almost always defer to the mother. And he looks at me and he says, so dad, what is Viagra? Now she's sitting about where you all are sitting and she's going like this. <laughs> and you never want to tell me don't do something. <laughs> and so I look over at my son and I say, well son, Viagra is a medication used by men so they can sustain an erection that would keep it so that their erection is big enough and long enough and hard enough so that the partner of their choice, be it a male or female, will be able to sustain an orgasm, if possible, whether it's anal oral or vaginal intercourse. And my wife looks at me like some of you women are looking at me like, 
Who could be married to you? And you know, she divorced me, right? Okay, you got that. I'm out on this shit. And my older sons are sitting there saying, oh, dad, you're so crazy. And see, for me, getting the laugh and the adulation of your kids was always important to a point that it was detrimental to their upbringing. <laughs> and then my daughter, who's seven, she looks over then and she says, Dad, what's an erection? <laughs> and now I'm like, oh. And so I didn't choose the change that happened in my life. That change happened to me. It came at me. And I wasn't ready for it. And I probably answered in a way that is slightly inappropriate for a seven-year-old to listen to. And so when I ask you to consider change, I'm encouraging you to consider to be ready for it, that it's always going to happen.